Okay, hello and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We're about to give this man a new haircut. I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Uh, this might be one of those. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. Alright, so we're not fighting, we're escaping. Fair enough. Don't need Break the couplings holding the thing. Come on now, Mid. We were made. Right, let's try maybe the big shuttle. Oh wait, we have to hit the console first, don't we? Yeah! It's too close. I won't make it. Too close now. Don't need break the couple of holding the thing up. Okay, so this will one shot. Good. This kills all mine. Another one down. What are you up to? Let off at any point. There we go. Come on. This stem's got a few couplings holding it up. We need to cut them off. Two more couplings on the stem. Fight me! Not that dumb machine! So we're gonna out of the electric before it insta kills me like last time. I don't 
can't see it. There it is. Ow. You got it. Ow. One more, why is it not come off? Ow, electric, crap. There we go. If that thing comes down, it's only gonna kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun. Don't let him see you leave. You might think you're dead if you can convince him. Right, hold your breath. Go under the debris. What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. When don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. I can find a way out of here. There, there's a current. It's heading for an exit. Might be a way. And we'll live. Do you know you are about to drown? Shit! That was a way under this. This is a dead end, so I want to go back away then. Right. Push off of that. Probably restock as well while I'm going through here.
chest over there. And we go. Oh, it had air anyway. Never mind. Right. We'll go up through here. my capabilities of killing at the moment. Looks like some kind of power room. A current lead here. Promising. Maybe it's got some kind of uh some power room. <laughs> Come on, ignite it. Don't just attack it. Uh, Fair enough, it might have some kind of... Because I know that when they're using, like, uh, rivers and things to naturally cool things like nuclear power plants, they let the river current bring water in and it gets used and then sent out the other side, uh, piping hot. So I guess it makes sense that this one might like that. Well, that I've done a, a little bit of overkill. Oh, that's like two as well, going into water. This is going to be bad. I wouldn't jump in there. Oh, well, I guess we're going to get electrocuted. Rust. Except he's definitely dead. <laughs> I, I found... Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I've, I've got it. right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plain Song. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. A Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. We'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous zoo then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. 
You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. Oh, we're gonna find out what this land god is then. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? to do might look bad but it will help spear West of Plain Song. There trouble out there? The Utaro have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Right. Ray, Let's out what and these other are. machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us. Seeding and harvesting the fields <coughs> and plains on. Food for all. <laughs> a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people, until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons, they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they'd fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. I'm assuming the sacred cave is a cauldron, that's probably where they went in for repairs and refits. Most likely. Right. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, Do then me, me so, and so on. 
That's some of the spattered with soil from their labors. The signal, antennas, Each reappeared two days later, hmm. shining anew, without so much as a scratch. Still, the sacred kale will be a call. Soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in the cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. To all living things, an end must come. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So wait, it's not a uh that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. 
Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um. Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh. Yeah. Me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel. You should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... No. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain sun when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Aloy realizing that having people to bring off the sub bench to do things while she's not there is useful. Dun dun dun. Who, Who knew? They? And one of those four are, they don't seem to like the clone of her. So who knows? We might be getting a sister soon. <laughs> Okay, well, healed up. First that Karja Huntress, now this Outlander. Right, let's get all the things back to my map. We should trade. Oh, the stock. Slowly running out of all my supplies, as you do. <laughs> Probably need to kill some more robots, really. Right. Oh, I bet I have a few things to sell here. Oh, I have. Not much to really buy other than like resources and things, eh? Another outlander strutting around like she owns this land. So really, what do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner dun, dun, dun. you all go, the better Two this soil will foreigners. be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but. Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, Outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Utaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes! Saw them just today, running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. The dangers of the hunt require quality gear. I need to meet Laurel and Zoe in Plainsong. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva right. should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend. I must be closing in on the signal. Right, let's have a look. What have we got? Da -da -da. Got a nice segment of the map unlocked here, though. I imagine we're probably going to be in this area for a while, most likely. Hmm. Right. Looks like we can probably just go straight up to there. Um. 
I definitely at some point want to swing back down over here though. A few things to hand in and do. Hmm. There's a few more tall necks knocking around, aren't there? Looks like there's uh, three more, no, four more. Is that a cauldron? It is a cauldron. Maybe that's the sacred cave they speak of. Who knows? Right. But, we'll make our way across. to this for later. southwest of here and I thought about taking a peek but with these old legs if any machines stumbled out I'd be a goner you'd better stay away then the cauldron to the southwest it probably has machine overrides I could use to these matters of diplomacy. I also think I just hit something, but... Oh. Is that another campfire already? Right, well. There it is. The tall neck fell on early. Hear it. Right. And away we go. What is that? It's one of the Utaru land gods. What's it doing here? I can't do where I got machine. But I could learn if there's a cauldron out here. Just a bit of a And she said something about a land god somewhere here.
That's one of the Utaru land gods. What's it doing here? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's what it is. Materials as well around here. Right, our journey might have to just end here for the moment. Do anything for it? Birch and hold train. Uh, I don't think it's a damaged mount though, is it? So can I not actually do anything to this? Is it just here for Decoration. It's not even marked on the map or anything. I guess not. Stuff for the stash. Might as well get the medicine though on here. I've just used most of mine. And I believe there's more charges over there, so I should be able to get a new mount. I'm fill up like him. Right. It's one of the Utaru land gods. What's it doing here?
forget I can actually kill those with that now. I think that's one of the Utaru land gods. What's it doing here? Come on, search it. Yeah, there we go. Just one more buddy. And we're off. Shrine. I'm not sure what it means. Right, Prince on. The blight's taking over the Utaru fields. I have to get Guy up and running. Does actually slowly damage it looks like. There's Laurel and Zoe. Mm. Right, let's get these there's a few side things to get. You'll want to talk to me if you plan on surviving out here. A word of warning? Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. Something lighting up the ruins. Could be old world tech. Might be worth taking a look. Then it's going around in this way, and what is up there? Must be up there. Okay. The other west uh, down. Oh, we've got some outfit sellers. Another side quest. Basically, it's looking like to get the side quests that's up on the radar dish. Right. Sounds okay and reasonable to me. Let's drop a save. And. Let's see. I think that is, I think that's plenty enough for now. Looks like we've got a couple new quests up there and our main quest, of course. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll explore playing song, maybe do a bit of shopping, and spend those skill points in the next episode. And maybe we'll even start making some moves towards that cave. Whatever the hell that cave is. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.